trip to Denver today. I have to leave the house in about an hour. I'm just going to hang out with my roommate from college. It's her birthday this weekend, so I'm just going to fly down and we're gonna do a girls weekend. But yeah, kind of just packing today, feeling a little scattered, which is pretty normal for my travel days. I feel like I have a million things in my head, trying not to forget anything. I cannot believe it is already February. By the time that I get back um, Sunday, it'll be February 13th. Time is just flying so fast. I've been reading a bunch of books lately. My book goal for the year is 40 books. So if you're on Goodreads, we can be friends on Goodreads. I have been reading some good books lately that I've wanted to talk about and make a video about, but I don't know how boring that would be if others would be interested in that or if that would just be a total drag for me to talk about like a lot, a bunch of different books. And I mean, it'd just be me talking for the whole video, so it wouldn't be super entertaining. But uh, let me know if that's something that you guys would like. I've been trying to read more in the evenings instead of watching TV because I think it really helps me just not looking at a screen, especially the last hour or two before bed has helped me get to sleep, has helped me sleep sound soundly. I've just realized how much I need my sleep. Like I pretty much have to have eight hours every night or the next morning I just, I don't feel like I can concentrate. I'm obviously very tired and it's just overall good for your skin. It's good for your body in general. So I really been trying to prioritize sleep and reading has been very helpful with that. But anyway, enough jibber jabber. I should make myself something to eat before I head out. This is my airport look, sweats, tennies, and a coat. Kind of random, but comfort is key.
not been vlogging the past couple of days because I've mostly just been enjoying time with my friend Heather, but tonight we are going out and seeing an old friend from college who also lives here. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's been a long time since I've gotten dressed up and just done a girls night out. So I'm excited. Hello, my friends. Well, first of all, I just want to apologize for failing drastically at capturing Denver footage. I thought that I would get more than I did, but yeah, I just didn't really feel like pulling out my camera much. I'm back in gray Chicago, and oh my gosh, is it gray today? It is so cloudy and rainy. The past couple of weeks, I've really been obsessed with watching makeup TikToks and tutorials and like the Vogue Get Ready With Me series. I don't know why there's something just so therapeutic about watching people get ready and put on like their products and talk about their lives and their days and whatever. It's just super, super calming to me. So today I like brought out all of my makeup in the living room because it's too dark in the bathroom and I just thought that we could do our makeup together. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. This is my bare face. I don't have anything on except for sunscreen. I'm really not an expert, so take everything I say with a grain of salt because it may not be the best makeup advice. So first, I am using the Ilia Skin Tint. I like this because it has some SPF in it. Pretty much until I was 20 years old, I never wore SPF. Then I realized, oh, I should probably start doing this. So now I wear it every day, even if it's cloudy, even if I don't, don't go outside. So I like that this stuff is very, very light coverage and has SPF. Next, I'm gonna be using this concealer by Tarte just to kind of go in at a few spots. I'm also using a eyeshadow palette as my mirror. Okay, I'm going to take this Estee Lauder Double Wear Insta Fix Concealer and use it underneath my eyes. I like this because there are two ends to it and one of them is just like a primer moisturizer. That always helps with keeping this part of the eye like really, really moisturized and hydrated and I think it helps a lot with preventing that like crease from developing. Okay, now we can take the concealer and I just very lightly dab a little bit. Okay, I guess I'll start on my brows. I love this brand. I have really thin eyebrows because I overplucked them when I was in middle school and high school. And honestly, even up until like a few years ago, I was plucking them and getting them waxed. And since then I've stopped. They're slowly growing back, but it's taking a while. Okay, I'm gonna kind of let that dry. And in the meantime, I'm gonna add a little bit of bronzer. I am using the Milk Bionic Bronzer and I'll kind of just like bring it up around my hairline. Moving back to the uh, eyebrows. Now that they're a little dry, I'll go in with um, this eyebrow pencil also by Refi. I'm just going to, as lightly as I can, follow the shape of my natural eyebrows. Lastly, for the brows, I will go in with the Kosas Air Brow. This is just like 
a brow cream, brow gel with um, some pigment in it. And I think I'm using the color brown black. So it's just like a very dark, dark brown. And I'll go through again and just brush everything out. I really like this product because I think it makes my brows just like really fluffy and still feel natural. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of blush. This is Glossier's Cloud Paint. I have probably had this for five years. It is, if it can expire, it's definitely expired. I kind of put it on the side of my cheek. I think I saw somewhere that this uh, helps like lift everything up instead of it instead of like setting it right on your like the apples of your cheeks blush is done i'm gonna do some eyeshadow now i'm using the tartlet in bloom by tarte look how pretty these colors are i've never used this color before but i'm gonna try this color called sweetheart i want something really light I'm gonna do the sparkly champagne color. I am just gonna highlight the center of my eyelid just to give it a little bit of a glow. Okay, now I'm gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury, it's like a brown eyeliner pencil. I'm just going to create like a very soft cat eye. Next we have mascara and I'm just going to curl my lashes and I'm using the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. I have very straight eyelashes. They like go out like parallel to the floor. So I have to curl them. I might go in with a tiny bit of highlighter gonna just try this lip gloss by Minori Beauty so pretty so shimmery and that is it she is done okay this is the final look and I love it I think it's really really fun and light. I think I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. Thank you guys for getting ready with me and for listening to me rant and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!